Hi there, everyone. Welcome back to my channel. Today, we're diving into a super helpful topic for all you ESL learners, common English errors that ESL students make. If you want to polish your English skills, you've come to the right place. Let's jump right in. First up, we have plural forms. This is a tricky one, plural forms. Did you know that some words don't change when they become plural? For example, sheep. Sheep stays sheep whether it's one sheep or a hundred sheep. So remember, it's not sheeps are grazing, it's sheep are grazing. Easy, right? Another example is deer. Whether it's one deer or several deer, the word remains the same. So we don't say deers are running. Deers are running is incorrect. Deer are running. Next up, oh, Articles, common mistake, using a instead of an before words that start with a vowel sound. For instance, saying I saw a elephant, it should be I saw an elephant. So what are the vowel sounds? A, E, I, O, U. Another example, she is a artist. Nope, she is an artist. And remember, it's an honor, not a honor, because the H in honor is silent. Also, I will see you in an hour, not I'll see you in an hour. I'll see you in an hour. Let's move on to pronouns. Such a common error. Many learners mix up subject and object pronouns. Me and him went to the store, uh-uh, he and I went to the store. Remember, he and I are used as subjects in the sentence. Her and me are friends, nope, she and I are friends. She and I, we are friends. She gave the book to him and me, not he and I. She gave the book to him and me, not she gave the book to he and I. Let's talk about double negatives. These can be so tricky. Saying I don't need no help is incorrect. The right way to say it is I don't need any help because in English, two negatives make a positive and this can really confuse the meaning. So I can't find my keys nowhere. Ah, ah, I can't find my keys anywhere. Also a common, common error. He doesn't know anything. He doesn't know nothing. No, he doesn't know anything. So don't say he doesn't know nothing because if you say he doesn't know nothing, you turn it into a positive. He knows everything. Now let's talk about much and many. Use many with countable nouns and much with uncountable nouns. So there are many people here, not there are much people here. Simple rules, big impact. This will really elevate your English level. So is it I have much books or I have many books? Think about it. Countable. I have many books. For uncountable, it's much. I don't have much time. Not I don't have many time. I don't have much time. Well done. Now let's move on to since and for. Have you ever confused since and for? I think every one of my students has. So I have lived here for five years. So periods of time and since a specific time. So I've been here for five years, not I've been here since five years. I've been here for five years. I've been here since 2019 specific since. Got it? That should help. Specific since. So she has worked here since 2015. Uh-oh, are you ready for make versus do? This can be confusing. You make a decision. You don't do a decision. What's the difference? Use make for creating or producing something and do for activities and tasks. Practice these, learn them. You'll sound like a native in no time. So 
Instead of saying she did a cake, uh-uh, she made a cake. Creation. But you do your homework, not make your homework. It's a task. So, make a cake, do your homework. Make a cake, creation, do your homework, tasks. Well done. Now, two tiny words that cause a lot of trouble. In versus at. These two teeny tiny words can really cause problems and trip you up. Use in for cities and countries, at for specific places. I live in Paris, not I live at Paris. Master these little words. You'll be more precise. You'll sound fluent and confident. Is it she is at London or she is in London? In London. Well done. And meet me at the cafe, not meet me in the cafe. But you can say I am in the cafe. Important, important, important. Adjective order. This is another common mistake. So say a beautiful red dress, not a red beautiful dress. Opinion before color. Beautiful before red. Opinion before color. Follow the order. Your descriptions will be spot on. Not a red small car. No, that's a small red car. Opinion color. Big round table, not a round big table. Round is a fact, okay? Now, if you have enjoyed this video, if you found it helpful, if you would like more examples, comment and let us know. If you enjoyed the video, please do like and subscribe. I'm your host, Nas, native English speaker and CELTA certified. And it's ciao for now, but stay tuned. We've got lots of great videos coming up.